Good morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday morning. I came in and took pictures of some Funko Pops, and I've responded to emails and offers, and now it's time to do packages. So let's get to it. All right, we are going to start the day off with a comic book set. This buyer bought Superior Spider-Man, the Darkest Hour storyline. So it's issues 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. And we're going to put those in a Tyvek envelope. I've already, we're going to ship them in a uh, legal flat rate envelope, and I've already written the do not bend and put the fragile sticker on it. We're going to put that in a Gemini mailer. And tape it down, and I do have more of these, so I'll just do a cell similar. And get this listing back on. taped in. Now we'll just slide this into the legal flat rate envelope. There we go. And for this five comic book set, it sold for $20.90 plus shipping. And it has been listed since February the 6th of this year, 2021. And we do not need to worry about weighing it. It's a flat rate envelope, and we are nowhere near the 70 pounds. So there we go. And now we have a shirt. It is this Texas A&M Aggies Under Armour uh, Heat Gear shirt, size medium. And these are really nice and light. Has the AM on the sleeve, Under Armour on the back. We'll fold this up. If I can get the sleeves to cooperate. And it will ship in a uh, eBay poly mail bag and it feels very very light Just push all that air out in one piece of tape. Now with these, since I fold them in half, I do tape these ends a little bit because I'm concerned, you know, something could get in here and then pull it open. So I tape the ends down just a bit. And when the person gets their item, though, there's still enough room where they could take a pair of scissors right here and slice that bag in half. And it will ship... Oh, wait a minute. This sold for $15 plus shipping. And it's been listed since August the 22nd of 2017, and it'll ship at the 8-ounce rate. Okay, now we have a Xenoscope comic book. I think, yeah, right there. I need one of these in a fine minus condition. There will do. And as you can see, I have more, so I'll be able to just hit sell similar. This is Red Agent, the Human Order number six, the Keith Garvey cover. And Keith Garvey is very popular. A lot of people love his art. And I mean, you can see why. It's really good. I 
All right, let's get this tape down. And now we need a Gemini mailer. All right, we'll tape it down so it doesn't move around and get damaged. At least it helps prevent the damage. For this uh, red agent comic book, it sold for four dollars and forty-five cents plus shipping, and it has been listed since May the tenth of this year, twenty twenty-one. And like I said, I can hit sell similar. You saw I had several, and it will ship at the eight ounce rate. And now we have a pair of Rawlings men's uh softball baseball pants these are obviously new and all i'm going to do is fold this in half in the bag and put it in a priority padded envelope i think i got these at a yard sale for about a buck and uh it's a good thing too because i kind of messed up on these a little bit uh, I did a sale yesterday, and I was trying to clear out some stuff, so it was like 50% off, and these were in it, and these have free shipping on them, so I'll still make a little bit, but not very much, it, it, like I said, it's not a big deal, at least they're gone, uh, these sold... For $13.87 with free shipping. And they have been listed. Oh, I didn't even write that down. I probably listed these in uh, April or May of this year. So they've only been on for a couple months. And it is, I don't know why I got it on the scale. It's a priority padded envelope. We're nowhere near the weight limit. So I'll end up making probably, I don't know, four or five bucks on that. And now we're off to the next package. Okay. We're in the garage, and we need to pick up another model kit. So it's going to get pretty dark for you here. There it is. I'm going to show you when we get in better light. It is the AMT 1969 Olds 442. This is the Retro Deluxe version and it is new and sealed i've already taped up the priori mail shoe box and put half a piece of bubble wrap in the bottom oh mail me in all right that was the morning mail pickup so we have the model and we wrap it up in a sheet of bubble wrap and like i said i, I took half a sheet of bubble wrap and i just folded it like this and put it down at the bottom of the box so now we put that in and with this half we fold it in half and then we roll it and i put it crossways so now the model cannot move in there there's no movement and this model kit sold for 27 dollars and 75 cents plus shipping and it has been listed since April the 25th of last year, 2020. And it'll ship at the pound 15 ounce rate. And now we have the Game Boy Color that I bought on Saturday at a yard sale. I bought it Saturday. Uh, it was $30 for it and two games. And I got it listed on Saturday. So let's cut a sheet of bubble wrap in half. Let's go ahead and get the Game Boy. Here it is. Game Boy Color. And it is the uh, purple or grape, whichever one you want to call it. Does have the battery cover nice clean battery compartment it does work i put the games in turned it on to pictures like that 
and we are going to put that in a comic book bag and like i said i bought this and two pokemon games were in the bag and it was thirty dollars and uh i think i listed one pokemon game for about 18 or 20 and the other pokemon game i want to say was like 40 or 50 dollars so real good turn on the money here and like i said I just bought this on saturday today's tuesday so it took four days for this to sell i will ship it uh, priority uh because it sold for 63 dollars and 75 cents plus shipping and i charged uh 5.99 first class shipping but since it's over 50 bucks i have to send it priority so if the post office loses it i get reimbursed and like i said i listed this on saturday june 19th of this year 2021 and it will ship at the eight ounce rate okay now we have a couple of comic book orders to pull icon 29 we'll need our step ladder for blue beetle So the first comic book is Blue Beetle, number one, published by Modern Comics. And this is basically a reprint. The Blue Beetle original was from, I believe, the 60s. And this is from the 70s. But it still sold pretty well. And we'll ship it in a Gemini mailer. And people understand that this is a reprint because it's a different publisher. You know, Modern Comics did not publish the original one in the 60s. This is a first appearance of the question. And the Blue Beetle number one Sold for $7.95 plus shipping. And it has been listed since May the 27th of this year, 2021. And it will ship at the 8 ounce rate. Put blue. Our next comic book is published by DC Milestone and is Icon number 29. And that milestone is the stuff they are revamping right now. Uh, they just released the new Static, number one. And these others will be coming in the next month or so. Because th this was a series from the 90s. And it's been they haven't done anything with it since then. And like I said, now they went back and just released the Static, number one, last week, I believe it was. And these others will be coming in the next month or so. So the original 90s ones are getting a lot of attention and a lot of interest now. Alright, this Icon, issue number 29, sold for $2.95 plus shipping. And it has been listed since June the 17th of 2019 and it will also ship at the eight ounce rate okay we have another comic book now right here we live all right this is we live issue number four published by aftershock comics this series is quite popular right now. That was shipping a Gemini mailer. I gotta reload on these. We'll tape it down so it doesn't move around. And 
for the Wii Lab number four, it sold for $8.85 plus shipping. And it took two days for this to sell. I listed it on June the 20th of this year, 2021. And it will ship at the 8 ounce rate. And now we have one of the great courses. Uh, right there it is. Understanding nonverbal communication. And like I said, it's by great courses. So you have a course book. And then this one has two DVDs. We're going to ship this in an 864 box. And this is new and sealed. Oh, we'll need a half a sheet of bubble wrap. I think this was just a dollar or two at a yard estate sale about two weekends ago. And this is another one that I kind of messed up on. It, it got in that sale, the 50% off. And it's a free shipping item, again. But it sold for $10.87 with free media mail shipping. So that is the good parts, free media mail. It's been listed since May the 28th of this year, 2021. And it'll ship at the 12 ounce rate, so it'll cost like $2.90 to ship it. Okay, it is after lunch, and I did drop off FedEx. Now we have a few more orders to do. And the first one is a Nightwing comic book. Actually, there we go. It is Nightwing issue 16, part of the Death of the Family series, published by DC. We'll ship this in a Gemini mailer, which I need to go get. And this is the fifth one of these we've sold. I only have one more left. There we go. Now we just need to tape it in place. Turn on the scale. All right, and this night when sold to a best offer that's in out, twelve percent off. And it sold for $2.07 plus shipping. And it has been listed since July the 26th of 2017. And it'll ship at the 8 ounce rate. And now we have some blank floppy disks to mail out. I believe they'll go in this 864 box. take a look all right all right these are the five and a quarter inch floppy disks uh, scotch eg and it's a pack of 10 and it's really tight so we're gonna need a uh, sheet of the small bubble wrap I'm gonna fold it in half because we're real tight side to side but not what I'd call the top to bottom. And then we'll use the big bubble wrap for the final padding right there. All right, 
time and these floppy discs well, take cut off off of shipping sold for eight eight dollars plus shipping and they have been listed since march the 23rd of 2019 and they will ship at the 12 ounce rate okay now we have a funko pop to do up it is from the runaway series number 356 alex wilder we're going to ship that in an 864 box i just listed this morning about 22 more funko pops for that 220 dollar collection i bought a week or so ago seem to sell quite well. We need a sheet of the small bubble wrap. And I always put box defects in all of mine, whether they're there or not. And people don't seem to mind. They, they'll mind if you do not say that, but they don't mind if you do say it. So I just have it in all of mine. And the Runaways pop here sold for $4.99 plus shipping. And it has been listed since June the 13th of 2019. And it'll ship at the 8 ounce rate. Alright, now we have another of these Star Atomic Starburst dishes. This one is the 13 inch platter made by Franciscan. And I have a, two sheets of bubble wrap. And this bubble wrap, just to give it some support, because the you know platter dips a little bit. And I'd like it to be nice and even up here. So we'll tape this up nice and tight. This is going to ship in an eBay branded 1612 8 box. And this platter is small enough to where the bubble wrap is folding over the edges. So all the edges are covered. And then what I did with the 1612 8 box is I took the bicycle cardboard and I cut one layer for the bottom and then two for each side. And then I have a top to go on top. So essentially this is basically a triple boxed, triple reinforced I guess. We're going to put in about two inches of packing peanuts. And now we'll put the platter in there. And now we're going to fill the rest of this with packing peanuts. And this seemed to work quite well on the uh, bigger platter that I shipped out what, a week or two ago. I haven't heard anything at least which is good. All right, let's make sure we're getting packing peanuts all down to where the platter cannot move around any at all. I want absolutely no movement. I'll be pressing down on it a little bit. All right, I think that might do it right there. And this is the box top that I, I did for the top of it. It just does fit, like I said. And it goes across all the bicycle cardboard. So, I mean, this is solid as can be. Um, I've met, mentioned a few times, I think you could drop it off the roof of my building here and it'd be okay. But this is the way I've found shipping the plates. It seems to... Like, you know, give them the absolute best chance of arriving to the buyer without being broken. And I accepted an offer on this platter this morning of $50 plus shipping. And it's been listed since May the 13th of this year, 2021. And uh, these are all dishes I found in a storage unit that I bought in uh, January. Yeah, right at the 1st of January. Uh, and this will ship at the 4 pound, 15 ounce rate. Alright, 
and now we got a buyer that bought two comic books. And I could not find them all ago, so I had to turn the camera off. And it's because these are published by Image, and I thought they were published by Tops. But it is uh, Dracula versus Zorro. Issue number one and number two. We'll put those in another envelope. There we go. Tape it down. The afternoon mail pickup has already come by. So this will be for tomorrow. We'll get a Gemini mailer. And I'm actually having a pretty good listing day. I've listed uh, what, about 23 pops this morning, 22, 23. I listed two cards and uh, this big lazy Susan monkey pod thing. I just got done listing it. So, after I get this package done up, I intend to go in the garage, and uh, I bought a model collection about a month ago now. Uh, if you've seen the video, some of the boxes were absolutely horrendous. But I'm going to go back there and grab five or ten of those models and see if I can't photo and list those this afternoon. Now, the Dracula vs. Zorro 1 and 2 sold for $3.40 plus shipping. And it has been listed about 20 days. I listed it on June the 2nd of this year, 2021. And it will ship at the 12 ounce rate. Okay, we've got a couple more comic book orders to do up. First one Savage Dragon. Now, Indiana Jones. Alright. So we'll start with the Indiana Jones. It's the Further Adventures of Indiana Jones. Issue number 29. It is published by Marvel. And we will put that in a Gemini mailer. We'll tape it down. I'm getting quite a few comic book orders this afternoon, which is good. This uh, Further Adventures of Indiana Jones sold for $2.50 plus shipping. And it has been listed since September the 10th of 2020. And it will ship at the 8 ounce rate. Indiana Jones. Let me go ahead and put 8. I'm pretty sure the next one's going to be heavier. Alright, now we have the Savage Dragon Companion Number 1, published by Image Comics. And that will also go in a Gemini Mailer. This one's a pretty thick one here, comic book. It is the Companion, so... They usually make those quite a bit thicker. There we go. And the uh, Savage Dragon Companion here sold for $3.35 plus shipping. And it took about 20 days for this to sell. I must have listed it at the same time I did those... Uh, Dracula versus Zoros, because this was also listed on June the 2nd 
of this year 2021 and it will ship at the 12 ounce rate okay now we just sold a funko pop that we just listed after, since lunch here it is it is spider-man into the spider-verse number 404 peter parker we will ship that in an 864 box And we'll get a uh, sheet of the small bubble wrap. And we'll lay just right in there. There we go. You can use a half a sheet of the big bubble wrap, but it's a little bit tight. I feel that it might squish the box. Now, I put box defects, but I still feel like it would squish the box. Alright, and Peter Parker sold for $17.25. And like I said, I just listed this today, June 22nd of 2021. And this lasted less than four hours. And it will ship at the 8-ounce rate. Okay, now we've sold another DVD. Yep, kicked over my Star Wars guy. And this DVD is Alice in Wonderland. Oh, there it is. Alice in Wonderland, Richard Burton. It is new and sealed. We'll ship that in an 864 box. To get a half a sheet of bubble wrap, the big bubble wrap. Move this down a little bit. All right, and it will just sit right in there. Okay, and this DVD sold for $24.42 with free media mail shipping. It's been listed since May the 20th of this year, 2021, and it will ship at the 8-ounce rate. And now we have a woman's shirt, which I think is up here. I think that's the one. Let's see. No boundaries. Junior's extra large. Yes. Okay, let me get the cardboard that we fold clothes on. Get rid of the hanger. There we go. And it's just a red floral pattern women's shirt. Well, apparently new with tags. Yep, new with tags. All right. There we go. And we will ship this in an eBay poly mail bag. Let's see if we can sit sideways. This has been on for a long time. And so I uh, just took an offer of $7.99 plus shipping. And this was listed on May the 16th of 2016. So it's been listed for over five years. And like I said, when I fold these in half, I do tape a little bit here at the end. 
on both sides just to make sure it doesn't get snagged or ripped open. And you still leave space to where, you know, when the customer gets it, they can take like a pair of scissors and put it in here, cut it, and get their shirt out easy enough. And it will also ship at the 8 ounce rate. Okay, now we have a big model kit to do up. I think we'll need three sheets of bubble wrap. And it is this, the uh, 87 Thunderbird Combo, made by Monogram. And we open it up, there's quite a bit of room for stuff to move around. So I'm going to put a sheet or two of bubble wrap inside. There we go, now hopefully... We'll put the lid on that prevent it does okay so three sheets of bubble wrap I guess I scoot it over a little bit there we go down here and I'll take the sides down And we want to make sure that we're not leaving any of the model box exposed to any of the tape. Uh -huh. And then we are shipping this in the box. eBay sends you your 12 by 6 by 6 boxes in. I did the measurements and it looks like this will work out real nice. Almost perfectly. Now what I'm going to do... You probably don't have to, but I'm going to go ahead and put packing peanuts down the sides. That way, just in case it was to take a hit on one of these sides, hopefully it won't punch through. As far as the top goes, we're we're good. We don't need any more padding or anything up here on the top. And then, so hopefully they don't cut through their model kit. I'm gonna take this real thin cardboard and make like a rainbow. There we go. Make an arch. And I did get with that model collection where the models are in just horrendous shape, the boxes and whatnot. I did photograph and list about 10 of those model kits today. And when I was doing that, I was like, oh, these are even, I mean, they just keep getting worse. And so we'll see. I might end up just throwing all that away and call it a, a wash. Uh, for this model kit, it sold for $20.90 plus shipping, and it took nine days to sell. It's been listed since June the 13th of this year, 2021, and it will ship at the 2 pound 15 ounce rate. All right, that is going to do it for me today. I feel like uh, the sales were okay, but I feel like it was a very productive day, especially the photographing and listing. Uh, got quite a few items on today. Uh, the models back there, like I said, are just getting, they, they're worse when you look at them. So I'm not too sure if I'm going to list them or not. Uh, I did list about 10 of them. We'll see. I, I figure I'll give it a day or two and see how that goes. But uh, I hope you have a good night, and we'll see you again tomorrow for more packages. Bye-bye.